Alrighty. Rising amount of cosmic fingers destroyed 147. Thanks for messing around with some more Vampire Survivor or Speswick 224. Rudo cuts, heads to Abyss Foscari. We're gonna be keep moving on. Go full blown berserker here. Hey, roll. Oh, victory sword, but no, that's not what I want. Da -da -da. Hello, heart. Here's my whip. All right, Bloody Tear is going to heal us up. Legionnaire is going to bring the pain. And between the two of them, keep on being berserk, running into dudes. And what else will we be doing? We'll be doing Middle Claw, probably, because I forgot what the third one wanted to be. And Weapon Pickup is not a bad idea. Now, of course, Big Fuzzy Fist is just going to be worse, so... Oh, you don't want Empty Tome to show up at all. There we go. Wow, double healing. Armor, and I should have saved that for the evolution. Being of evolution, I should go down there and grab that chest. Gonna be grabbing some Boogaloo of Illusions, perhaps? Maybe it'll be Sarabon Day of Healing. Who knows? I don't. Both are good options for what I'm planning here. Or are they secretly bad options? Wow, that's a lot of skull. Yay. Boy, that no moving thing is annoying. Alright, nice and defensive. Keep getting that armor bonus going. Wait. Well, I'm not doing Divine Bloodline, so I don't need to wait on how hard I can grab it now. Up or Logan. Well, actually, it does increase my damage with Metal Clock, so it reduces the cooldown. Oh boy. Front damage, not great. Well, Eleanor had trouble with harder, or easier, and he's going to have less damage. Well. Divine Bloodline, save me. Muruto cuts them down, no trouble. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, he went down pretty quickly, boss. There's a Legionnaire. That retaliation damage going nice and good. Even if it's going to be quite limited. Okay, yeah, some of these are four and some of these are three. Yeah, that one there is definitely three. So they actually... Let's see if it was like a couple threes and then a four, but there were fours back to back. Unless... Like, really weird with how it counts. I mean, of course it's going to be really weird with how it counts in. Oh man, double NFT. Nope. Can't just sit down and focus. Gotta... Do that. Put him down. Another one down. Three down. Every Atlantean has bit the dust. Every Atlantean is bit the dust. And there's the bloody tear. Big Fuzzy Fist is not going to be far behind. Oh, hi, Academy Badge. How you doing? Well. Oh. Hmm. On the other hand, I just want to keep moving, so. Alright, let's try to not, you know, get XP so we can evolve Big Fuzzy Fist. And we can't evolve it. We got the pickup for it. Now, do I want Sarah Bond or do I want to wake?
Uh, I have very poor bottom clearance. The character, I can't just stack up around. Hmm. There's the boss. Well, they didn't go down instantly. That's not a good sign. Oh, man, the kill count's pathetic. Things considered. Like, it'd be like 30, 30,000. Eventually, I'll get to just enough area that it'll help at full screen, but still. And it's a ways off. Victory without moving? That's a difficult thing to do, but Maruto Cuts is up to the challenge. In Vampire Survivors, Beswick 224. I actually bothered to look at what video I had up so I could actually announce it correctly. Oh, hey, you're here. I'm getting stun locked? Still moving. Even if I'm in the corner, it still counts as movement. Not a lot of chicken forts showing up. Yeah, you got toasted, but... You're endemic of what's going to be showing up eventually. It's not a good sign if you lasted that long. Preview? Oh. Well, I'm probably going to forget this by the time I actually get back around playing Sniper and Starship Tours Extermination, but it was rebase. You rebase when you tear down your position and move. So simple, and yeah, I forgot it. Well, you didn't last long. That's a good sign. I actually want Fawal Fawal if it shows up. Give me less... Well, give me bottom coverage, which is really the weakness, probably. Well, no, Big Fuzzy Fist is just going to do whatever. Legionnaire is fighting off fast enough that's keeping the bottom up. I actually wanted to run in enemies to trigger things, but guess not. Well, that's why Legionnaire is so great, because you can trigger the retaliation even if you don't get hit. Wow, oh, it's wild actually being able to see the map. Like, there's a background in everything here. It's crazy. Dun, dun, dun. Stone mask. Did you know that there was a whole, like, building wall next to the stone mask? Oh, there are kind of... Well, I can come back. I'm not going to fall to, like, 25 plus. There's... Like, even if I just run into Genevieve endlessly. Bigger. Purpler. Uh, well, less purple, actually. Da -da -da. Hmm. I wonder if I can try to do a true no-hit run on Toasty. I mean, inlay library. And then uh, use garlic to get through the start. Hmm. I don't know. Eventually... Laurel? Maybe Laurel. No. I wouldn't want Laurel. Just I would want no hit, and Laurel means I get hit. Legionary would eventually be wanted for sheer damage output, because if everything's dying instantly, you aren't getting hurt. And what else? Oh yeah, always moving challenge two. Oh, hey, there's a wall. Wow, you have a lot of health. That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign at all. Definitely gonna be grabbing away. That'll boost up some other damage too. Well, I mean, it'll be enough armor. It'll be 13 armor at end, multiple revives. Uh, four revives, so it's 200, 400, 600, 800. 1200 health they have to go through with increasing armor. And health regeneration on the back end. And I get the armor bonus when I do get hit. Not that that's happening right now, or that you can really check, but it does mean it'll take less. Character fully designed to take advantage of bloodline. 
Oh, and I have Mina coming up too. Hmm, what should I do with her? Ah. Now perhaps that's the idea. Well, no. I was thinking one of each of the stats that boost up spell string and co, but I wouldn't be able to have all of them. Well, it's might, then, well, area. I get. Actually, I could get all three Archon I would want. And I wouldn't need Awake to revive as well. That damage is going to go crazy. Into a mount. I mean, heck, maybe I just go full on. Full 6-6. Six, six. Break the rules again. They've got nice and big. Got enough levels that Boogaloo is starting to hit crazy amounts of area. Now the kill counts managed to spike up nicely, but still not where it should be for the time. But considering the durability of enemies at this point, it's not bad. Though I should really be sending it more in circles. Legionary gets more hits in. Like so. I haven't been hit in a while either, nice. But it's that 28 minute mark that's going to be the real killer here. You actually hit me? Yeah. Took some damage. Mm. Bloody Terror isn't really hitting a lot, so it's not healing back as much as it could. Too much good killing elsewhere. Mm. Kill count's going up pretty quickly now. Not gonna break 100k, but still. All the damage. Sometimes all you need is consistent solid damage to have no trouble. Yeah, 60k coming up soon. Uh, a bit far behind. Oh, seven, seven, seven. No, fourth. Fourth is 7.30, so... 22.30 to get 75,000. Math! Well, 10k off. Thanks for watching. More Maruto cuts. Cutting in soon. Alright. About 70k off of hitting the correct breakpoint to get the 100k. Like, 84,000 at 24. Seems unlikely. Seems increasingly unlikely. Ooh, well, if I get some actual levels, I need to find a vacuum. That'll get some killing going. Not a tract orb, vacuum. Because a tract orb is on the map. Hey, it's a kelpie thing. Oh, there's a the vacuum. Thank you, light source random event. Uh, no, six. Wait, it's 25. Five, thanks, five. No, five times is four, so it's, I need to be at like 90,000. No, that doesn't make sense. 100k divided by 6, that's like 8. Was it 8? No, it was 3. Wait. Oh man, I mismathed myself. Okay. 16. 16. So times 5, it would have been like 80,000. Okay, I might actually be here. Yeah. Alright, provided the 28 minute mark behaves, it might be possible to actually break 100k here. Uh, 
Wait till the 28's on the mark before getting that vacuum. I have enough. I have some Oralogians too. I don't want them to spawn in with them as much HP as they could get. Mainly just because they don't get the knockback, which is causing it's going to cause the issues. Oh, well, the damage up against these guys is fine. So yeah, 28 minute mark. It's going to be a trouble. Their HP times level, and they don't get knocked back unless. Hmm. Garlic. It does reduce their knockback resistance. Doesn't make them 100% vulnerable, but better than nothing. Yep, knew that was coming. Alright, we're a Logian. Man, but if you get this much good, strong, consistent power can't do it. Man, how is anyone else supposed to? And there's my Oral Logan's capped. Uh, oh, I don't actually have that many chickens stored. Da da da. Oh, that's all my safety net right up. Oh, made it to the 29 minute mark. Should be enough to get through. Bloody tear is big enough that I'm going to get consistent healing. Not even pop a revive. Nice. Nothing short of death can stop me now. He's too busy chasing Eleanor. Clearly, I'm going to have them all shipped together for some inconceivable reason. Who would Drowner go with? Oh, soul. Yeah. Dog and wet? That just... Everyone loves the wet dog smell, don't they? Ooh, not a bad spread of damage, all things considered. And for stage two, Maruta will be heading over to Astral Stair. And breaking it all. Wow. Turn that off right away. Hey, the whip. Alright, got my weapons right away. That's nice. Did I break the 100k? I can't remember. I probably should have grabbed the armor first, but meh. Well, the damage isn't the issue here. No, it didn't max out to him, just doesn't want to show. Well, oh, one more whip is nice. Armor. Yeah, I'll stop them all. Yeesh. They're running away from it from the start. Still couldn't get away. That's the ridiculous ghost exploder thingy. Let's make him more tanky. More tanky, even tankier. Oh, MMO lingo, you have invaded the world. Yeah, I'm still weak from below just because I don't have any coverage there. Should have been going up top. This stage wants you to go down low. Huh, where did that heal come from? I, get a, I didn't hear the chicken noise. No, I should try to find the door. They're on the left here. And it makes me go to the right. That feels awkward. Chickened up. Yeah, until I have Legion Air. Then my area clear is not so great. Armor maxed out, armor is maxed out, so let's roll the chest bones. Nope, Metal Claw. No early evolution here. Unless... No, not even close. Area just isn't going to be there.
I should actually probably stop leveling up. Don't want to run out of experience. Or don't want to run out of levels and have to... Yeah, that has to be innate to the level. Oh. Candy box. I, mean, I should grab it just so it gets taken out of the pool. So I can get Super Candy Box 2 Turbo earlier. Wait, no, I won't need that, like, ever. Well. There goes that no maxing out before evolution chest thing. I mean, I'll still end up needing it. Just because the cosmic eggs are going to do stiff. Oh, right. It's been a day. So it's supposed to be no moving. Or, full movement. I don't think I've stopped. Well, I suppose I'll see. Well, I won't. I won't go... F I don't go through the full footage. I just check odd moments and then forget to actually edit them out later. Cosmic. Boy. Man, that was a fast evolution. Or er, fast. Max out. And I got the weapon pickup too, so I had one plus. I didn't like I was running duplicator or tier Jisoo either. All dealt with? All dealt with. Ugh, lousy starburst. Yeah, there's gotta be something else you can do. Is that it? Is that all you got? Oh yay, finally an evolution chest. Yeah, just grab this vacuum. Bloody tear. Area. Area. Much crit as area. Well, there's one candle Labrador. Ooh, a mount. There's two candle Labrador. Hey, a mount. A good amount of uh, amount. And an arcana chest too. Well, what would I even want here? Eh, I'll just take away just to be on the safe side because of those dang cosmic eggs. Okay. Really wasn't going fast enough for that to have happened. But uh, you do, you game. Hey, lucky move. Yeah, let's get the next golden finger. Nope, that's not a trap.
Still don't have enough. Jeez, diamond and gold finger. Terrible. I got luck, huh? Got lucky, though. Got really lucky. Ta -da. Yeah, it should be three cane lever to worse. Dang it, I stopped moving. I have failed the challenge. Three and a half, possibly. Wow, so many luck events. Eesh. So much luck. Hey, finally, another evolution. Three and three quarters. Yeah, even charging into them down below. They aren't going to be doing much. Why is my armor at 50? Um, game? Game, why is my armor at 50? Oh, is that that temporary armor thing? I didn't know it was reflected on the score screen. Wait. Oh. That should be four. It goes up. It keeps going up. There is not a cap till you hit the natural armor cap. Eight. So that's how it works. Nothing... But death does like more than 30. Like, yeah, I just toasted a cosmic egg. Yeah, it doesn't have that much health, but. Well, who needs that when you get 50 armor? Huh. Huh, huh, huh. I had no idea that's how it worked. I thought it was just like a small bonus and maybe like. Well, obviously, single digits. I didn't know it kept stacking like that. That's crazy. I mean, yeah, Murdo is a very strong character. I don't think I've ever actually lost on Murdo. I was clearly underestimating the amount of pain he could bring. You can hit the armor cap, Natch. You can just keep hitting armor like that, and nothing's gonna stop him short of death. Oh, and, and Stalker, but meh, Stalker. All right, enemies. I should actually be able to kill a bunch of cosmic eggs, shouldn't I? And they just keep running into them. Wow. A lot of amount for bloody tear today. No, I mean, I guess the... No, the Atlanteans don't actually do too much. Like, 20? Yeah, I can finally random always. How much amount... Level up. Found him with them big fuzzy fists. And I can't even get close enough to hit anything, or to get hit by anything to cause the armor issues. Or the armor increase. Yeah, there it goes. Wow. You know, every time I had checked for the armor, I didn't think it said that. Either it didn't happen in the past, and it was part of a new update or fix, or I was just really that completely oblivious to it. Both are distinct possibilities. Alrighty. Rising amount of cosmic fingers destroyed 147. Wait. Why did I avoid one of them? I mean, it's not gonna matter. Alright. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna go above 50. That's the base cap. Only Toasty and maybe, I guess, Stanley can break that. Let's see how far I can push it, though. No, I'm not gonna be able to destroy all the cosmic eggs. But I'm gonna try anyway. Oh, yeah. I did it. I actually destroyed all the cosmic eggs. That's a screenshot. Oh, Bloody Terror actually outdid Legionnaire. Well, just because it got such a start, because it was evolved so much sooner, that Legionnaire was catching up. DPS? Still, it they were all within range of each other. 5k apiece. The Legionnaire, if it had gotten up earlier, it would have been better. All right, let's see how much Maruda's armor protects him over in Space 54. Got some more Vampire Survivors action coming up. Shouldn't be a trouble. Not awake. On Old Sanctuary. And I go down straight away. Get that empty tome. Wait. No. Don't get that empty tome. There's very few evolution chests on this map. Oh, wait. I already stopped moving. Well, there goes that challenge. Why am I not grabbing the whip? Yeah. Oh, that's annoying. There's the whip. Whip it good, Murdo. Whip it good. Yeah, there's 50 armor. Nothing's gonna hurt me. Yeah, Skizabra. Wait, I remember that old thumb, the last thumbnail Maruto has his stat page on it. So I can actually check that thumbnail and see if it's recorded correctly. Well, actually, no, it wouldn't be. There's no way anything was hitting him at that point. Hmm. Like it doesn't just go down all at once, it slowly go drops. I mean, I should check the thumbnail anyway. Oh, that was bad. Forty-four armor to go. Nothing is. Oh, finally got empty tome. Jeez. And what are they going to do against this much armor? Nothing. The only things that can do it damage at this point are the Atlanteans. The Stalker. Or, well, heck, all of the Reapers if you face them. Except Drowner. Drowner does no damage. No, Maruto. Now that it's actually properly reflected... Or if it was always properly reflected and I never noticed. That makes you even better. I mean, I already probably considered you the best character in the DLC, but... Now it's... Knowing how it works, that means you might be one of the best characters in the game. You already have work considered, I think. I mean, what weaknesses does he have? Nothing single weapon challenge super strong multiple weapon challenge super strong weapon synergizes with his innate ability by default what's his weakness i mean i guess his stats could i really break out already that's a bit too fast for my taste huh Well, that was annoying. 
Don't you just love annoying things interrupting you? I know I do. Hmm, Melise. Hey, you're the Arcana one. Oogaloo. Of illusions. Wow, destroying the boxes is really slow. I wonder if I've gotten healed enough that I can actually beat base stages without any power-ups. Oh well, something for the future perhaps. Hey, Legionary first. Does that proc the armor? No, it's only if he does directly get hit. Not through retaliating. Okay, so yeah, there's no way the thumbnail should have it, but I'll check anyway, just because, well, why not? Oh, wait. Now that I do have Legionary, I can actually get the finger. Bam, bam. Man, they're just not spawning in enough to actually, you know, get killed fast enough. Well, it's taking a legionary up. Really hard, actually. Duration. Eh, I mean, why not? Mount isn't all that critical, but it's neat looking. And really, what more do you need than something as neat looking to build on it? Well, if I'm gonna get anything, I might as well get a mount. If I'm forced to get anything, I might as well get a mount. Yes, yeah, so that makes sense. Two a mount, eh? Yeah, they don't transfer over. Maybe that should be a power up. Then again, with the way. Internal works. Hmm. Good grief. So much weapon action. Maybe. Hmm. There's probably some way to scumbag. Getting the base upgrades on to the advanced weapons if you have it. Like say... I mean if whip amount plus one through limit break and plus one bloody tear through limit break as well. Limit break. There we roll. But the only issue with that would be... If you don't have it, if you have, if you somehow get both whipped, it's just an example. Oh, I don't care anymore. Is there a chest? There's no chest. And like, if no bloody tear but whip amount plus one, then bloody tear plus one. Wait, no. If whip, yes, and bloody tear, no. Then amount plus one. Bloody if whip and bloody tear, both yes, then no. If just one, then yes. I don't know, I can't code. I suppose I can imagine the flow of how it should go. Thank you for that nonsense. Good old Rory. Good old Rory. 
Really, no more chests. Sage is such a desert of chests. Isn't space a giant desert if you think about it? No. Space is space. We all just want to go to it. 15 end or 20 end here. It's going to be 20. There's only, what, two stages that are 15. Boss Rash, Moon Glow, the Omelise, I think Carlo Kart. All the regular stages are 30. Green Acres and Bone Zone are both 30 as well for some reason. Everything else is either 25 or 20. This is why is Bone Zone 30? Why is Bone Zone 30? Jeez, there's been nothing. Absolutely nothing chest wise. That's terrible. Yeah, there's. Five candle operator, where's a phaser and the academy badge? Nothing else. Hmm. Maybe a power up that lets you like select the order you want your random always in. Yeah, power up. No. Pick up. Pick up. No, not power up. It couldn't be power up. It would have to be relic. Yeah, get a relic. Reduce your minimum passive weapons. Get a relic. To allow you to ran them all ways in a specific order. Oh well, they're getting in. Go that 50 armor off. Make him stronger than ever. Just the only one evolution chest this entire time. Oh, there's one more way down here where I never was for forever. And it's Big Fuzzy Fists. Actually, probably be slower at this point. I mean, at 50 armor, I can clearly feel the invincibility. I wasn't feeling it like 30, which is... Well, nothing's really going to be doing that much. I mean, what is? What could do that much? Only the biggest, heaviest hitters. Wow, before I could even get the dang chicken. Yep, that's to be expected. Huh. Well, that's odd. Guess they were all grouped up. Big fuzzy fist beat it out. Okay, so Maruto has conquered the abyss with no troubles. Shown off. Oh. Well, 424. Let's get it out of order. And then Astral Steer was 423. Oh boy. Anyway. It's 424 down, that leaves 1,508 to go. Almost down to the 1400s again, yay! Thanks for watching, I hope you had some fun. Thanks anyone who's liked, disliked, commented, or subscribed, and if you haven't, please do so. Either way, have a good day and keep messing around in the Vampire Survivor's Beswick.